Hi there. So in this video, I'd like to talk to you about how to submit your assignments in Blackboard. So in order to find your graded assignments, you will go into Blackboard and click on Grade Assignments. Navigate to the folder that you are attempting to upload. So you'll first start in the icebreaker assignment. So let's say, for example, that's the first one you want to submit. And your, all of your assignments that you're going to be submitting here in Blackboard are going to be Word documents. So what I've done is I've just pulled up a random Word document. So it would look like this. I mean, I mean yours, is going to, yours is going to actually be a quiz, but it would be a Word document um, like so. And you have multiple options from here. If you have a printer, I recommend you just print it off and then work the quiz out by hand. Okay, I, I certainly would never advocate for you to try to type this stuff out. It's very time consuming. Just print it off and um, just and, and then work it out on that piece of paper. If you don't have um, a printer, no, don't fret. Just take um, out a sheet of paper and write down your answers. So that's actually what I've done here with this particular document is that I have actually shown a couple of different ways. So once you've taken your, you know, you've pulled up your quiz and you've done it in some way, typically what I do is there, I've got a couple of options for you. Take pictures of your um, completed quiz with it with your phone. You can just use your, your normal camera on your phone, take pictures of it. Um, those will be JPEG files. Typically what I then do is I can email those JPEG files to myself to my Kate Fear email account and then I can upload those pictures into Blackboard directly. That will work. A way that, um, that I prefer even more so than that though would be if you, you know, if you have a, a scanner, I'm sorry, if you, have, if you have a smartphone or if you have a tablet that you can download apps, I would recommend downloading a free scanner app. I've used Genius Scan and then I have one that's just called Scanner. Another common one that I've seen folks use quite a bit is Cam Scanner. And the nice thing about those is that you're still using your smartphone or your tablet to take the pictures with them. But what happens is then the scanner app converts those pictures, those JPEG files, into one PDF file. And PDF files are universal and they're very easy to upload. And then another option is if you have a printer, printer, many printers now have built-in scanners with them so to, to be able to utilize. So those are all options in terms of taking pictures of your work, okay? Because I definitely, you know, you can get partial credit if you show your work. So I highly recommend to um, find a way to do that. Um, so with that said, what I have already done is I have completed this assignment two ways. So I'm going to pull up my email because what I've done is I have completed that assignment and I've emailed it to myself. This first email that you see down here that I'm clicking on is you can notice that it's a PDF file. So I'm just going to click here to download it. This is the file that I use the cams. I use the scanner app on my phone. So it's not download. I click on it. There we go. All right, I'm gonna click on it. All right, so now here I'm showing you to give you another flavor for how to submit. So the first page of that set of notes, I just I took the problems and I wrote I wrote out my solution. So A, B, and C didn't require any work. Letter D required me to do some work. Example two, we're solving equations, so I um, showed my work here solving the equations. Then as I move on to page two. Here's another way. I, here I just used my printer, printed it off, and I showed my work right here on the page itself. Okay, so I just want you to know that I'll accept either way. Okay, and I'll even accept a combination. Okay, but anyway, so this is this is what it looks like whenever I use my cam scanner. It took my I, I opened up the scanner, took pictures, and it made those two pages all one PDF document. So now I am ready to download that document. So I'm just going to navigate over here, click on the down arrow. I'm going to download it to my desktop. And so I will just call this um, uh, assignment. A, a nice thing sometimes to do is to put your name to it. So I'll just type it. I'll call it Wood Assignment Number One and hit Save. And now I'm going to go back to my email and show you the alternative method is that here what I did is I just like I said you can just take two, you can just take pictures of your work so um, you'll notice it creates two files they are JPEG files and just hit download both of those so I'm just gonna come here and click on both of those download both of those here's the first page I pull it up I'm just gonna click right here and it gives me a save as and I'm putting it on my desktop. I'll call it Wood um, Assignment One, 
page one. Okay. Close that. Let's pull up page two. Or not. I'll try again. Put up page two. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to, it's just pulling it up a little differently this time, so I'll click, I'll click over here to download it. And click here. There we go. And click here to save as. I will call it wood oops, assignment one. And then I'll just navigate over here and put a page two on it. There we go, and hit save. All right, so now I have I have the um, documents now saved and they're ready to be uploaded. So I'm just going to go navigate back to the course and talk about okay, you know, you're ready to submit. So I'm going to click on I'm going to go from the top. So you've you've done your quiz, you're ready to submit it. You're going to click on grade assignments. Then you're going to cl um, click on the folder where the assignment is. I'll just click on icebreaker here, for example, and then I'll you to, when you're ready to actually submit the assignment. Um, you will actually click on this underlined portion here and all of the assignments are going to look like this that the underlined portion is the what's referred to as the assignment link and the quiz itself will be an attached file right here and so this is what I you know have said that you can pull up and work out on a separate sheet of paper or pull up and print off and um, you know work it work it out so I'm ready to submit I click on the assignment link you just navigate down here to browse your computer so that you are ready to submit and you can see here I can pull up this first one which is a PDF file and hit open and it will submit that way I'm gonna go ahead and browse my computer I'm just gonna show you what would happen so you know say you know the assignment is multiple pages for you so you just click on that second page there browse your computer again okay and let's click on that page that last page okay so this is just always be sure that when you're ready to submit if it has multiple pages and it did not convert all of those to one file for you that you go back in and you browse your computer and submit as many pages as you like. So um, I've even had some folks that just like to take the quiz and they type in their solutions and then um, and then they submit their work as to as a, as a separate page. So you know that that's legal too. you know whatever works for you. So and then at the end you're headed to hit submit. Of course this is not the icebreaker assignment itself but um, just giving you an, an opportunity to see you know what it looks like to submit here's what you want to um, look out for you notice here at the top it says success your submission appears on this page I would hang out here and make sure that you can see everything that you know that you did and that you uploaded so here is um, here this top one is a JPEG file so it's okay that it is um, sideways here I can download it and um, rotate it most of the time without any difficulty so if it becomes if it is a difficulty for me I'll definitely reach out to you here was the first page <clears throat> and it also comes up and I'll like I said I'll hopefully be able to um, pull that up myself you know when I'm ready to grade and then here's the last page which is the PDF file that I use the scanner app You'll see here why this one is it is it is it is more preferred by myself if you if you would use a scanner app just because as you can see here here's the whole document all in one spot and it's just easier to scroll through so um, at that point now you can see this is what I will be able to see when I'm ready to grade your paper as a final check for yourself I, I, I mean at the top here you're getting a confirmation number showing you that your um, um, document has has been submitted. Um, it also sends you an email to your inbox telling you that your document has been um, submitted. Um, another way to even further check yourself is to go into Blackboard over here and click on Grades. So I'll do that. You'll notice here now beside the icebreaker assignment, I have a yellow exclamation point. That means that it has been submitted and it is ready for me to grade. Okay. Um, if you and just above that, I'll draw your attention to that. You see that looks like kind of looks like a blue clock. That is something that has not been fully submitted. You started it and you did not fully submit. So therefore, if you have a blue clock there, I am not going to be able to grade it. Okay, so always be certain that you see, come over here to the grades and see the exclamation point. 
Um, and then lastly, if you ever run into a problem with Blackboard or you're not able to submit using the assignment link, cover yourself, submit it via email. It's not ideal, but you would rather you would much rather meet your deadline than to not meet your deadline. And if, when you don't meet your deadline, it raises red flags to me saying, oh, you were just trying to buy yourself more time. OK, so um, if you if you get the assignment completed and something happens with Blackboard or something like that, send me an email with the with the quiz attached and we can work with you from there. OK. All right. So um, good luck with submitting your assignments. Let me know if you need any help. But hopefully um, all of these steps here will help you with that. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye.